Propane may have caused the fire. The Raymondville Fire Department is planning a fundraiser to help the family. Residents in the area are also collecting clothes for the family. This week, testimony is expected to resume in the Ruben Gonzalez trial. Gonzalez is one of three people accused of starving and beating 13 year old Jesse Harrison Jr. Before his death and back in 2021, Gonzalez is charged with murder and injury to a child. Harrison's mother, Sabrina Loredo, and grandmother, Antonia Gonzalez, are also facing charges and are scheduled to go on trial in October. Also, a man is facing charges this morning for giving alcohol to minors during a party. Officials at McAllen Municipal Court identified the man as Jaime Ezelias. Details about what happened to this arrest have not been released just yet, but his bond is set at $30,000. Today is the first day back to school for more Valley districts. Districts starting today include Wessico, Hidalgo, Santa Rosa, McAllen, Edinburgh, Sherryland, and Point Isabel. And of course, to see a full list of districts that are now back in class, you can head to our website. That's at valleycentral.com. And over at the City of Far, they're hosting a special game night for the community, and Danielle has our invite. Yeah, it's going to be pretty fun, uh, but uh, if you're ready to lose, of course. Oh, um, um, is who ready to lose? Yeah, you. Me? Are you sure? Uh huh. Hmm. I don't think. Uh, How are you with Loteria? I mean, I'm not terrible. How are you with Loteria? Very good, because I play it very often. I have family events. For some reason, I believe you. <laughs> Jeremiah, no. In all seriousness, this is going to be really cool. It's a Chalupa and Cheeseme event. Oh boy, anyone from the 956 is invited to join in on the fun. It's going to be a good time. There's going to be tons of folks gathered to play different board games all over some delicious eats. Yum. We're talking about the popular South Central Mexican dish Chalupa, and that has origins from Hidalgo, Puebla, Guerrero, and Oaxaca. It's going to be nice, you know, to dive into this specialty dish and really learn about the culture culture of different Mexican meals like this one, plus chips and salsa like beans and rice and so much more. I mean, the goal here is to bring everyone together for a cool game night and friendly competition and food. That way RGB residents can network and business and uh, make friends for fun, you know, connect with local resources, promote mom and pop shop type businesses and just have a blast. It's going to be family friendly too. So the kiddos are invited as well. They are going to love the live music, the Loteria games, the different prizes and everything else that's going to be offered. It's going to be great vendors on site with a bunch of activities and small business handmade products. Going to be a lot of excitement for everyone to check out. Oh, and best of all, our participation is going to lend hand in support of the mission of Angels of Love nonprofit group who works to provide services to women and children victims of domestic violence. So it's going to be <laughs> a great time for sure, guys. Jeremiah is making me laugh because he's telling me on the side that he's going to win at Loteria, and it's not true. Hmm. Am I <laughs> anyway, before he distracted me. It's going to be going down tomorrow from 6 to 8 p.m. at the City of Far Development and Research Center off of West Dicker Road. And you can call 956-382-4263 for more information on everything that's going to be offered on site. Guys, I love this. We all, of course, are uh, so familiar with Angels of Love nonprofit group. Mm -hmm. They work so, so hard to protect women and children in the Rio Grande Valley, but all over the nation as well. So that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And again, Jeremiah, you're going to lose. But anyway. Okay, oh. wow. <laughs> are you going to be real upset when I win? Come on. As the Chalupa and Cheese May winner. Oh, you had me <laughs> laughing thinking that you were so confident over there. I am confident. Oh. How about you, Brianna? Confident is key. That's Ooh. very, very important. Yeah, that's okay. true. Okay, dropping knowledge on us this morning. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. No, but this sounds like it's going to be a very fun event, yeah. especially it's going to be food and good talks, good hanging out with the community. Oh, yeah. So lots of good uh, aspects here. Chalupa mm -hmm. and Cheese I know. Have you ever had Chalupas before? No. I have, but like from like Taco Bell. Oh. I know. I was young. Wow. I haven't had like a disgrace. chalupa now. Yeah. Have you had one in general, Danielle? No. no but, oh, but disgrace. that's disgrace. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Not having one at all? Well, compared to having a fake one? Anyway, Brianna, where yeah, can I Brianna. get a good chalupa oh. or to help me in my struggle? Oh, since I understand. Danielle's not going to even have one. <laughs> I know. Just ask yeah, she you. can't. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. At least I have an excuse. Yeah. Oh. But you haven't even had one at all. Yeah, I have an excuse. Do you? Anyway, Brianna, where can we go? Oh, from? yes. I'm so sorry. Well, I, <laughs> I'm i not really sure. My grandma <laughs> is the one who, like, okay. makes a to lot of food. House. Yeah, to my grandma's house. Okay, let's go. Abuelita. Here we come. Abuelita. Yeah. Abuela Cori. <laughs> That's what I call her. Okay. Yeah. Aw, cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of 
food that I eat that's Mexican, it's either at home mm -hmm. because oh, yeah. I know how, we know how to make it. Okay. That's yeah, we don't really go to Mexican restaurants. Right, right, right. Yeah, except for like maybe Authentic. yeah, maybe like breakfast or like okay. taco stands, mm -hmm. but yeah. that's pretty much it. Mexican food is for the house. Yeah. Invite us. I'm sure your family will love me. Danielle, I don't think they can cook anything vegan. Oh, <laughs> so then they'll love me because that means I will eat it. And I'll be like, oh, this is good. Yeah, but yeah. also, but you I'm can't really, do that. It would be like the scene from My Big Fat Greek Wedding. He's like, oh, he's a vegetarian. What do you mean he he don't eat no meat? I don't eat no meat. It's okay, I'll make lamb. <laughs> it's still meat. Yeah. <laughs> That's wow. that's my family, yeah. Wow, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe the viewers like chalupas. Oh, yeah. Maybe y'all will cook some. Maybe they also like vegan chalupas. Maybe they can bring some. How yeah. would... I have to Google this. How would you make a <laughs> vegan chalupa? Mm. That's it's, your alley. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. Mm. I don't really know what homework. a chalupa consists of anyway. Well, it's like a taco, but like the, the shell of the tortilla is more like... It's thicker and it's crispy. It's, I think it's like a fried, okay. yeah. deep fried tortilla, I think. Okay. If I've I'm seen them, I've never had I've them. seen them, yeah, but I don't know how they're made. Like well, a bowl, kind of. But kind like, of, yeah. You know, put in a tortilla. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. No butter, no cheese, no uh, no meat. No problem. No <laughs> you. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. At least the cheese made doesn't have to be vegan. So. No. Oh, just, yeah. Just the cheese. Yeah. Coming up, there are new <laughs> guidelines to help protect student athletes when participating in the heat. We'll take a look. And in your full forecast, we'll take a closer look at those hot temperatures for these next couple days and get an update on the tropics. All that and more coming up next. I love that my daughter still needs me, but sometimes I can't help due to burning and stabbing pain in my hands. So I use Nervive. Nervive's clinical dose of ALA reduces nerve discomfort in as little as seven days. Now I can help again. <laughs> Feel the difference with Nervive. Oh, another morning to savor the crunchy nooks and crannies splendor of a Thomas's English muffin. Tom, which is a nook and which is a...